Welcome back to Proud Mask on the Joe. And today, today's topic, just a quick video here, is, is going to be on prioritizing yourself. What are you doing to prioritize yourself with keeping yourself in the forefront? Your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual and emotional health, your overall well being. Like, what are you doing and how does that look? Because I know, like, there is a sentiment, and I think it's a common misunderstanding about being, being a man, a provider, a protector, a producer, and misconception is that putting yourself first, making yourself your mental point of origin, putting yourself in the forefront is the selfish thing to do. That if, if you're not tending to everything around you and putting certain things that you can, even short term, to the side, to tend to these people and other external situations and circumstances that may arise and the people that you committed to care for and provide for need that attention that the right thing to do is to bring the focus off what it is you're doing and put it on to them or the situation to tend to that and expand your attention and focus and energy into that and again this is a huge misconception. And <clears throat> we'll find as uh as in relating this to a breakup, you know, after you've broken up with, you'll oftentimes find yourself really not knowing what to do with your time and your energy. Because we had fallen into a pattern of giving that other person so much of our attention and time thinking that's the right thing to selflessly give and put our own needs aside to tend to that other person to make sure they're fulfilled and happy and feel valued and cared for and protected that you know it's a paradox because ultimately all that care and attention and focus on that other person leads to a loss of identity and purpose which essentially at some point drains you empties your cup and you cannot fill from an empty cup Point being is keeping yourself at the forefront, keeping your needs, doing, keeping the routines and the, and the practices and habits that keep you strong, clear, calm, centered, uh, exercising discipline, being able to say no from a loving place and that's tough because you know we often think like this is just something that's been conditioned and embedded that as a man you should be sacrificing to see that everything around you is going right take control of the situation if something goes wrong make it right correct and that is true to an extent but if everything else around you in your life that puts you together and makes you the person you are that's able to do that is neglected not only will you not be able to fulfill the external need for the other person or circumstance, you're going to lose track of yours and everything's going to fall apart and everybody loses. The best thing you can do, the number one thing you can do as a man in your relationship is to always make sure you are tended to, make sure you're well rested, well exercised, all of your affairs are in order and be intended to regularly. 
are you making time for the gym? Are you making time for uh, quiet time, alone time? Are you making time to make sure your diet is right? Are you making time that all those little tasks are checked off daily? So when the time comes and you need to be ultra attentive or if there's a time when the other person may be going through a struggle or a hard time, your stuff's in order. So, uh, you know, taking a, a slight jog to the side out of the norm for the other person to be attentive and be that rock, you put together, you have what it takes, all your stuff is in order, and it's not a strain. And when you show up, you show up as that well-integrated man. And you can, and you show up as in the best way possible. And that bodes well for you, and most of all, them, whoever, whatever them looks like. Girlfriend, family, children, wife. Even if, uh, even as an, an employee. Like if you pulled in so many different directions and nothing that you do that keeps you as the man that you were when this woman met you or when you started this family, you know, this strong centered man who was very decisive and capable. You know, if all these things you did to put that person together or not be intended to, that's going to slowly deteriorate and you're not going to be of use to anybody or anything. And ultimately what happens is over time is a, a loss of purpose, loss of identity. It's so important. And even some of the things that would be done on a daily basis that seem so trivial, it could be your morning routine where that's just your time to collect your thoughts and mentally prepare yourself and go through your mental checklist of the day with that time you spend in the bathroom like even the little things like that it's it's not trivial and the cause and the purpose for doing that is not a trivial cause and purpose it's a detriment to your overall well-being and anyone else in your life that has to rely on you for that for the care and prov uh, provisions Point being, make yourself the priority. Make yourself a priority all the time. Your mental point of origin. So when the time comes, you are there. You are able to be fully present and fully equipped with the ability to handle anything that comes your way. That you can act and think clearly through it. Provide a solution. Provide the comfort. Whatever needs to be that difficult decision. And uh, if, look, if you need my help through this, if you're in that situation where you're alone, now you're trying to figure things out again because you are lost and you don't know who you are, where you are, where you're going, proudmasculine.com. Go to pricing and schedule. You know, I'm here for you, and I'm telling you this because my stuff my philosophies, my solutions are battle tested. My experience is on the battlefield, not the boardroom. This isn't theory. This is years of practice, experience, and working with other men to provide the best possible solution and path forward to ensure that you don't have to experience this situation ever again. And because I'm telling you, there's going to be a time when that demand from you, that demand of you from people that need you is going to appear. And if you're not prepared, you're not going to be ready to give, truly needs to be given in that moment. Everybody's going to get sold short, including you. Ultimately, 
do suffer in the end. It's not selfish. It's not selfish to put yourself first. Looking through the lens of, I need to be tip top. I need to be ready. I need to be prepared. I need to be equipped at all times. And look, as a man, that is your burden of performance. There's nothing to sulk about or feel sorry for and feel pressured. That's your duty. And, and if you're with somebody who fights you on that, who disputes that and makes it tough for you, or makes it uh, difficult for you to accomplish that, then that person's not good for you anyway. That's a selfish person. That person will use you up, drain you of everything, and when you have nothing more to offer, when your resources are drained and you're tapped out, they'll leave and go find something else. And you're left holding the bag all by yourself, the empty bag at that. You know, and, and there's a, a fair exchange and within that exchange exists the understanding that you need to move just like that from yourself outward and at the end of the day you follow that everybody benefits and there's a greater appreciation for your time and energy expended you win everybody wins You're number one. Remember that. Internalize that. There's nothing to be ashamed of. That's not selfish. That's the best thing you could do for yourself and anybody involved with you in your life. And if they really care, they'll support that 100%. They will add. They will make it easier for you to do that and recognize the value in you doing that. And if they don't, it's because they don't value and respect you, your time, and what you are, what you bring. You come first. Everybody wins. See you on the next one.